Hello amigos, welcome back to another video where today I am going to be showing you guys how I make my YouTube thumbnails. Uh, right now I have a picture of my gas station build that I did, uh, eye in the corner, but I'm going to be showing you guys, um, just the thumbnail process for me. Uh, this one will not have my Roblox character in it. So right now I'm using Photopea. I will have a link in the description, uh, if you guys want to use it. It is completely free. And the white border is where all the ads are, and I'm not trying to sponsor anybody, so... I forgot to mention this at the start of the video, so this is going to be put in at the start of the video, but it's not at the start of the video. But, um, once you load into Photopea, you're going to go to New Project, and you're going to change it to the right pixel size of, um, the YouTube thumbnail, which is 1280 by 720. And then you're just gonna hit create, and then you can open up your files on your computer, and then you can drag in the photo and resize it. How you resize a photo is, I'll just drag in the photo that I'm gonna use. Once you pull it in, you wanna pull it from your folder into this little area here, and you're gonna drag it on top. Make sure it's above the background. And then you're gonna go in up to here, hit edit, transform, scale, and then just make sure it fits the right size. So the first thing I do is I go down to this little icon down here and I left click on it and I create a new folder. In this folder will be all my shadows. I basically just kind of emphasize all the shadows and it makes it look nicer. Uh, I'll show you guys how to do that, but first we need to create a new layer. So we're gonna go down here to this little paper icon. Once you hover over it, it will say new layer and you click on it um, to put it into the folder, you need to be clicked on the folder. So let me just show you again. So I'm on the folder, I clicked on the folder, and I'm going to go down and click on the new layer icon. And then I'm going to go right over to this paintbrush tool over here, and I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to go down to this little color palette thing. I'm gonna click on it. Then I'm going to drag my mouse all the way down and make sure I have black. Then we're gonna go up to this little circle pixel thing right next to blend mode. And we're gonna turn the hardness of our brush all the way down to zero. And the pixel size, I think this will be fine for now. So just to kind of show you guys what everything is, um, up here is where you can backspace. So if I create a huge mark right here, I can go up to this and click on the last thing I did, which I accidentally created a br brush tool up here. So I'll just go back to new layer um, and that will get rid of it. There is also an eraser tool down here, kind of one right below the clone tool, which I didn't know was a thing, what? Okay, so I'm going to go up to this view tab right up here. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna go down to zoom in. If you look at this, the command for zoom in is control plus plus, and the command for zoom out is plus minus. I normally just kind of go up to this uh, view window and just kind of do it from here, but we'll just try doing it from out here. Make sure you're on the right layer before you start painting on things. You want to be on an empty layer. And then we're going to hit control and then hit plus on our keyboard. And then if you hit control again and use your mouse reel to scroll up, it's going to bring you to the left. And then I'm going to hold down shift and scroll up again, and it's going to bring me further up. I'm going to zoom in a little more here. And then maybe out a little bit. And here we have kind of where we're going to start adding shadow. So our sun is coming from up here where this black border is. So everything on this side is going to be pretty much shadowed. So I'm going to grab my black brush and I'm going to kind of shade under here and kind of just in places that I think shadow is going to be. Here is kind of a good example of shading. So we have a cylinder here and the sunlight is coming from over here. So obviously the left side of the cylinder is going to be darker than the right side because that's where the sun is hitting. Okay, so back to our drawing. I'm just going to add shadow here. And if you'd like to change your pixel size, just scroll, go back up to where we made the brush hardness all the way to zero. 
and we'll just there will be a size button and we just hold that bar and scroll it down or up to whatever we want it to be okay so i think i'm pretty much done with all the shadowing back here so then make sure we are clicked on the layer if you're not clicked on the layer this is not gonna work and all the shadows is gonna be on your main layer which is not gonna really help you if you want to adjust stuff so make sure you're on your layer it should be called layer one and you want to click on the opacity and i'm gonna bring it down all the way to where i think the shadow should be or like where it kind of looks like shadow you know so i have it at 10 right now so this is it without this is it with it just kind of looks a little better so now i'm gonna go and hit control and hit minus and then control and scroll wheel down so i'm centered and i'm gonna go in different spots kind of like back here by the gas pump and like here and the front of the sidewalk and back here and i'm just gonna make it all like more shadow so next i'm going to add some shout out to this here the sun is coming from over here why am i so laggy and i'm just gonna um create a new layer make sure you have folder one highlighted and then you're gonna go down to the new layer tool and boom and then i'm going to go and just kind of add more shadow you do not have to adjust your uh, brush hardness on new layers okay so now i'm done adding all my shadows i'm gonna make it darker and then now that i have it darker i'm just gonna make some adjustments with the opacity low now that we're on like a new layer it is gonna be easier to erase stuff so you can literally just go to the eraser tool and erase things okay i'm gonna adjust the opacity again just like that i'm gonna add some more adjustments okay now i think i'm done with that so if we turn off the full folder it just looks like that and then we turn it on it already looks better so now i'm gonna go with the bigger shadow here uh i just kind of like emphasizing this shadow like the shadows that are generated by the game so i'm going to create a new layer under my folder and i'm gonna make my brush bigger so this is what I'm working with right now. We're going to go down to 217 pixels. And then we're just going to color everything over here. And I'm going to resize my um, brush when I get to smaller places. So now I'm going to go to the eraser tool and I'm just going to kind of clean up some of these edges. And then I'm going to go and change the opacity of the layer and i'll just change it to like 33 is where i'm going so again shadows off shadows on i just think it looks way better now i'm going to do the front sidewalk here so again i'm going to go up make sure my brush hardness is turned all the way down and i'm going to scale this to maybe 17 yeah actually a little bigger i'm going with 36 now I'm going to color all right here. Oh wait, I forgot to make a new layer. Remember, always make a new layer before you start drawing another section. Okay, and then I'm going to add some shadow to back here. So again, create a new layer, go back to my brush tool, and then I'm going to zoom in on this. When you're holding control, scroll wheel down moves right, scroll wheel up moves left, and hold shift to move up and down. Okay, now I'm going to add some more shadow up here on the back of the pillars. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in a lot and just add a little bit of shadow to the gas pump here. Okay, so I think that's basically it for all the shadows. So now I'm going to go and double click on this folder and rename it shadow. There we go. And I will turn off the shadows and that's what it looks like without the shadows pretty nice but still it could be better so we turn on the shadows and it looks way better now i'm going to go and add some other photos and i'm going to find my photos i'm going to click on them and drag them into here so i have my new photos into here uh, i'm going to make sure they're actually above the shadow here 
And these are just going to be some other photos that I just kind of throw on top. I'm going to go up to edit, go down to transform, scale, and we're going to go and, oh, this is laggy. We're going to go and rescale this photo. And I'm going to go and do the same thing with the other one. So again, up to edit, make sure I'm clicked on the photo that I want to rescale. And this is actually an easier one, free transform. And then I'm going to find places that I want these to be. I'm going to double click on the layer. I'm going to go and add a stroke to it. I'm going to make that a decent size. I'm going to color it white. I'm going to go down to drop shadow and it's going to create a shadow. I'm going to turn the opacity of that drop shadow down a little more and I'm going to change it to the angle so it matches the shadow of the other objects. And then you can just go and double click on your other photo, uh, check mark stroke and drop shadow and there you go. But personally, I like it without the um, extra photos. Okay, so now I'm going to add a text. So I'm going to go down to the type tool. I'm going to click on where I want my text. I'm going to write what I want. Once I have what I want written out, I have stop and go written out, which is the um, name of my gas station. I might change it later, the text. I'll show you how to do that. But then you're going to go up to edit, go down to transform, make sure you're clicked on your text layer. And then you're going to just rescale the text. And I'm going to stick my text kind of somewhere, just like down here. And then I'm going to go down to color overlay. We're going to check that box and then we're going to double click on overlay. And we're going to go and click on this little white box, box here. And I'm going to change my text color to white. I'm going to go down to drop shadow and there's where I want my shadow to be. Uh, I'm going to change my text. So I'm going to go back to the type tool, click on this. I'm going to click and drag so I highlight it all. And then I'm going to just rewrite. Now I'm going to show you how to change the font. So once you're on your the right layer, you can go up to here, this little down arrow right next to the text tool. If you're not on the text tool, it's not going to show up. So make sure you're on the text tool and you're going to go up to this. The font that I have is distant Gal galaxy. It kind of looks like a star Wars font. I'm not going to lie, but I could change it if I wanted to, to a different one. And then we're going to go up to file export as PNG. And I'm going to click on that and save. And then this is going to pop up and that's my thing there. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to check out one of my other tutorials, I'll have it in the eye in the corner. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.